We're here today to show you just how simple and quick it can be to convert your regular gas guzzling dinosaur into a more fuel efficient hybrid, save money, increase your power in seven simple steps. Robert Hampton is the owner of Hampton's Automotive. With over 30 years of experience in the automotive field, he is an expert mechanic, uniquely qualified to service any sort of automotive issue. He has never installed an H2 high pod, but he has been graciously willing to demonstrate just how easy it can be to convert your vehicle into a cleaner burning hybrid. The first step to installing your H2 high pod sustainable energy device is locating an appropriate mounting position. This vehicle has provided plenty of room to fit this high pod moto unit, and the position that we have determined that is best in this case is directly in front of the computer. Every H2 high pod device comes with convenient mounting slots located on either side of the unit that can be used to strap the unit down or bolt it into any appropriate bracketing system. High pods are built tough and are designed to withstand the intense pressures and jostling that will occur in your engine compartment. However, it is ideal to get them secured down as snugly as possible. Using the high tensile strength Fastenal zip ties that come with every unit, Robert is securing the high pod in its permanent location. As you're going to be adding water to your high pod, make sure when you mount it, it is in an easily accessible location. After trimming the zip ties, the high pod is in its position. Using a test light, Robert is going to find an ignition fuse located in the fuse box to plug the high pod into. Your high pod is going to use electricity from your car's battery. So in order to get the most bang for your buck, you want to make sure that it's running only when your car is running. By using an adaptive fuse, available at most auto parts stores, your high pod can actually run parallel with the fuse currently in your fuse box. After installing your fuse into the vehicle's fuse box, the next step is to locate the vehicle's air filter. In this case, Robert has already pre-drilled a hole into the bottom of the air filter box, into which he is going to be inserting the high pods injection tubing. One simple rule for running your high pods injection tubing is to try to avoid any valleys. A continuous slope in the tubing will help to ensure optimal performance from your high pod for years to come. After inserting the high pod's injection tubing into the vehicle's air filter box, Robert has gone ahead and secured it to the vehicle's frame using Fastenal tie wraps. 
After using your H2 High Pods wiring harness to attach the unit to the fuse box, it's now time to just add distilled water. The water that you pour into your H2 High Pod is going to be broken down into hydrogen and oxygen, which are going to be used by your engine to increase power, performance, extend engine life, and save you some money when you fill up. Your high pod will now be breaking down water into hydrogen and oxygen, which are going into your engine to increase your gas mileage, increase your engine power and performance, and save us all a little bit of fresh air.